Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is Alishan Mo and in this video we are going to take a look and review the FQ777, the ICE Drone Quadcopter 954. What's up with the long long names? Anyway, this is another mini quadcopter. There are lots of these available in the market and I have previously reviewed a number of such mini quadcopters. Now what makes this FQ777 different than the other quadcopters or its previous version? Yes, there's FQ777 in the market as well, but this particular version in my hand is a little different. This version has a built-in Wi-Fi module and a 2 megapixel camera. That's what the manufacturer says. 720p camera and a built-in Wi-Fi module. Now having a Wi-Fi module and a camera in it, that makes it a Wi-Fi first-person view or FPV mini quadcopter. That is one charming feature of this quadcopter. You can find the QR codes on the boxes and download the application for Android or iOS devices. Once you have downloaded the application, make sure to connect to the quadcopter and run the app. Once you run the app, you have two features on the app, 720p start or play. Basically 720p it will transmit the 720p HD video to your cell phone. For that you will need to turn the 720p transmission on in your cell phone. I find that has some glitches, but using the standard transmission which says play, you can actually have a very nice live video from your quadcopter okay and the lag is not very annoying there's a very little lag so hopefully this is not going to disturb so having the wi-fi connection to your smartphone from your quadcopter now you can shoot videos and you can take pictures and directly store them on your smartphone and share on social media instantly and not only that but if you're a complete beginner and you find it difficult to fly using this standard mini small radio that might not fit in your hands you can actually use your smartphone to fly and control the quadcopter right from your smartphone all you need to do is click on this button and you get the sticks for you to fly of course these sticks are configurable for mode 1 and mode 2 in the settings menu you can now use your cell phone to actually fly this quadcopter using these sticks now still if you find it difficult to fly using these sticks on your cell phone I have no words for you but hey they have taken care of that as well all you need to do is uh, where is it you need to turn on the gravity sensor so now using the gravity sensor all you need to do is tilt your phone and control your quadcopter there's a little bit delay on that and there's a little bit delay on the controls using the controls uh, on your smartphones but still you can have a lot of fun and impress your friends by flying a quadcopter using your smartphone having that you still have the live video on it and also you are recording pictures and videos to share with your families and friends on the social medias or social sites right from your cell phone. What I want to see in this video how good this quadcopter is when flown with the radio control and then we also see how good or if it is better to fly using the smartphone controls. Is it any better for beginners using the gravity sensor or not? The most important thing that I want to see is how good this camera is, the quality of snapshot, the still picture and the quality of recorded video. All the videos will be recorded and the pictures will be stored on your cell phone. So I will have to copy the videos to the computer and play it from there. Flies really nice, very stable. I'm looking like a dork now. Okay, it can flip. I can see that. Flips are very stable, very nice. Flight performance, not bad. Whoa, now we are in a fast mode. So I'm gonna go to the slow mode. It's better to fly in uh, beginning or slow modes, uh, if, especially if you're using the uh, 
cell phone or a smartphone to fly this around. All right, turn on the joystick control. Put your hands on the joystick control and you are ready to go. In the beginning, it's, it takes a little bit of use, getting used to. But once you know what you're doing, you will be having lots of fun. So now you can see I am flying with the cell phone. And at the same time, if you like, you can look at the FPV video or live video coming. And at the same time, you can also look at the live video coming from your quadcopter and fly FPV. Which is a little bit difficult to do with this kind of camera having no uh, <laughs> wide angle view. But hey, this is lots of fun flying with the cell phone control only. Now let's try the uh, gravity sensor. So I'll put it on 60% gravity sensor. And here we go. Control. So now you can see. I can actually just tilt my phone and control the quadcopter. Takes a little getting used to. Takes a little getting used to, but once you are used to the behavior, you can actually fly it. So now in this area, you can see the quadcopter really easily, and you can see my cell phone. I am tilting the phone and controlling the quadcopter. The yaw control and the throttle control is a little bit of trouble but uh, with little practice you can actually get to it. Alright, we crashed because we have run out of battery. So just to conclude, this quadcopter is fun to fly with the radio control. It makes uh, good pictures, it shoots good videos, and it stores uh, directly on your uh, cell phone, on a smartphone. And also, it's loads of fun when you want to fly it using your smartphone control. Especially, it's really, really beginner friendly when it comes to flying using the gravity control or gravity sensor of your smartphone. So this is really a fun quadcopter and most of the things work. Time by time there are glitches on this application but hey restarting the application always works for me. You can also reset the gyro anytime by putting the quadcopter on a perfectly level surface then pull down the throttle stick to the left and the right stick to the right down bottom right and your gyro will reinitialize and your quadcopter will start flying leveled again. The only thing that I find really annoying about this quadcopter is its battery time. The flight time is really, really very disappointing. Extremely disappointing. So if you're looking for a mini quadcopter with a flight time, nah, don't buy it because the Wi-Fi and the camera takes all the power out quickly and you're not gonna have fun flying this. So Flight times are terribly annoying on this quadcopter, but rest of the features are really nice. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the new uploads. If you like the video, hit the like button and share it with friends.